Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back here out to the front of cabin one where we've got a, you know, another great week uh, of excitement uh, that's got to happen. And we're going to start here today. We're going to really get the stairs probably pretty close to done today. Uh, I've got some oak boards that I milled quite a while ago uh, that I've got to plane down. Those are going to be my treads uh, and they're up by the mill. Uh, I got to get the planer out for that. And uh, that's probably going to be the longest part of the day is kind of getting those set up to be the proper dimension and everything like that. I've got to get three more stringers cut out. I've got to mount the posts uh, on the deck itself. So we've got a little bit of craftsmanship that's got to happen there. And then, yeah, by the end of the day, I hope to see treads on stringers with posts up. I'm going to hold off see i keep the concrete pretty wet um, they say to keep it wet for a few days afterwards uh, just to help the curing process but i'm really not going to drill i have to put a couple anchor bolts in there to help support the stringers i'm not going to drill those probably for about an, another week or so give it a good seven days uh, to kind of set and then uh, we'll put those anchors in but that's not going to stop me from getting everything set up because the stringers can set on top of the concrete and all that stuff. That's, that's just fine. So no problem there. We just got to get going. Let's do it. Well, I just put my stringers up here just as, you know, kind of dry fitting them into place uh, and they look great. I, I couldn't be happier with them. Uh, they all sit relatively plumb and flush with the, uh, with the lines that I have drawn. So everything, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, everything looks great. So I have, uh, I have stringer brackets here that are going to go up against that rim joist extension there. This, these will be folded up underneath and support the stringers from underneath as well. So these have got to be mounted and then we'll get, uh, I've got to cut the notch in the front of the stringer down here at the bottom for the two by four that's going to be actually bolted into the uh, landing, the concrete landing. and then it might be time to attach the stringers onto the board. Let's do it. Well, I got everything somewhat dry fitted here. Nothing's nailed down yet, uh, but this is basically how this is gonna look here. It all, it's all lining up really nicely. Uh, this two by four fit nice and snug underneath the front of that uh, last tread there. And then, uh, you know, I'll worry about getting each of these treads level 
um, as as I start, you know, really getting closer to the end here. So I'm not really going to worry about that now, but I just wanted to uh, kind of get this dry fitted here, kind of sitting up. I've got to figure out my post here at the bottom. If I'm going to have this, the post on top of this two by four here, uh, or have it behind it to give it a little more, give it that extra inch and a half worth of uh, support. Uh, now I'm, I'm, my plan is to link them between this side and, and this side here with with a uh, rod, an all-thread rod, and uh, I'll show you all that when I kind of get into that. But uh, just wanted to kind of set this up, make sure everything is uh, looking good so far. Well, I got the four stringers all secured up onto the back of the support board there. Uh, just a whole bunch of whole bunch of nails here go into these Simpson hangers, and uh, everything went really just fine. So. Uh, you know, I put the this outside ones on first, leveled it, and then uh, added the second ones here in the middle, and uh, just made sure they touched the bottom of the level as I uh, installed them. So everything went good. I'm a little off as far as level coming out from the building. So this part of the stringer is slightly higher. So I may, uh, I may do a little. Uh, a little sandy. I'm not sh quite sure how I'm going to attack this, but I'm going to take the front of these down just a little bit uh, when I put my my put, put my torpedo level on these this part of the stringer here, checking the checking to make sure it's level. It does say that the front is slightly higher, so I'll probably adjust that a little bit. But uh, another thing, as I was looking at how I'm going to attach my posts here at the base of it. Uh, come to find out, I probably should have left these end stringers solid and use this connector to just come in against the stringer. And then I could have screwed in the side of the stringer into the inside of this support board here. So lesson learned, I'll make, I'll make cabin three you know, a little different than cabin one, but uh, it's just kind of how things go. So I need to, I want to start looking into these posts. I got posts out here next to cabin one uh, that I'm going to use for my handles. I may actually start working with the ones on the deck first. Those are, uh, hmm, well, I'm going to have to figure it out as usual. Uh, we'll make it happen, but uh, maybe I should do the bottom ones. I got to figure out my railing, uh, my hand rail and things like that, the angle. Uh, hand railing's got to be 42 inches, something like that. And uh, yeah, so we'll just have to, <laughs> have to figure it out. All right, guys, we'll see you as soon as I figure it out. Well, the sun's starting to get low in the sky over here, and I wanted to show you where I'm kind of ending up today. I did quite a bit of work kind of behind the scenes here. Uh, again, really just trying to figure things out, uh, you know, kind of as they happen. So let me show you here what, what we're working with here at the end of the, f I guess, day one of actually uh, kind of getting this thing together. So this is kind of what we're working with. Uh, let's, let's just work from the top down, okay? So right now, these posts, they are in the deck itself. I did manage to cut those and notch them. So they are sitting uh, very nice and snug within those holes and they extend down below the deck here. So that is going to be bolted in to that rim joist extension. Uh, once everything is ready to be bolted in the tops of my post this is what they're going to look like here so that's one of the reasons why these aren't really secured in yet i still have some kind of some detail work to do before uh before everything gets kind of put together uh, my posts here at the front um uh, the it's ends up being about a 30 34.3 degree angle on the, the tops of those posts, which gives me my 42 inch railing height off the stairs. So those are, 
again, none of this is bolted in at all. It's just to show you kind of what my blocking situation is going to be. So I'm gonna have some front blocking in here, uh, some back blocking. This will also help support this, this first tread because I've got to work around the four x four here. And then between the four x four and these two, I'm gonna have a threaded rod that's gonna go all the way through to the other side. And uh, it's gonna tie both sides together. So this blocking here, the front and the, black, the, front and the back is gonna go in each uh, bay here. So again, kind of tying this all together into one piece. So ideally, once I get all the bolts and screws into these, these posts here on the front, uh, it's not going to move at all. Uh, and again, I'm still waiting on the concrete to cure a little more before I bolt in uh, this front piece here to the concrete. And then once that's done, these, these stairs aren't going anywhere. So that's, that's what we're ending up with here today. Really a pretty good day. It took a little longer to do some things than others. And again, it was just a matter of me making sure before I started, you know, putting saw blade to wood, it, uh, it's definitely that measure twice, cut once type mentality that I'm using here for this. So, but I'm real happy with the way things are looking right now. So we'll keep moving on tomorrow. We'll see you then. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, things probably look a little different here than the last time uh, I left you guys in that last video. Yesterday was kind of a, not really a wasted day, but it wasn't super productive. So we're actually two days beyond the last time you last saw me. I spent some time yesterday actually going and running and get supplies. And, you know, as I've said a hundred times on the channel here, going to get supplies is it's it seems to take all day and that is no doubt what happened yesterday so went and grabbed some supplies came back maybe one or two in the afternoon and i spent some time uh milling down the lumber for the steps so these oak boards here these are some of the original oak that i had uh cut down or salvaged from another part of the property i know i have a video on that and it had been sitting up i mean it's been on a pile for maybe a year at least and uh it turned out absolutely fantastic so you can see the boards here they they look absolutely fantastic so i'm super happy with that but but bringing them down to size is really what what took a while and it was totally worth it because they again look fantastic um so we're gonna have a pretty productive day. I'm sorry, let me step back a minute. The, nothing on here is, uh, nothing on here secured down. I was just kind of, dr again, dry fitting everything. I did add some brackets to the um, plate here in the front just to help kind of solidify the stairs a little bit. So we're gonna have a pretty productive day. I expect the staircase to be done today. That would include the posts all four posts, uh, as well as possibly some railing. So we'll see. I know I get kind of bogged down in some details and a lot of stuff happens behind the scenes here that you guys don't get to see. Uh, and it's really a lot of confusion on my part or again, trying to figure things out. So we're doing our best and we're gonna make it happen. So it's gonna be a good, good bit of progress today. I got the all thread for the stairs. I, I, I think I have everything I need right now to, to really kind of finish these stairs and uh, you know keep moving. We have another part of the property here that's got something going on uh, that you guys aren't in a loop yet on. So I've got I've to work on that as well. I've got to make some time for that as well. So, uh, and all the leaves are falling. Probably might be able to see behind me here. We are definitely, we might be beyond peak right now to where, you know, a lot of stuff is dropping off uh, really quickly. So let's get going on this and make some progress. Here we go. All right, gang. Well, before I start to put the treads on here, I wanted to show you where we're at here with uh, getting these posts uh, securely fastened here within the system. So this is this is kind of what we ended up with. So I've got, you know, four bolts in the bottom of each side, as well as I've got the rod connecting both sides 
that runs through the middle of these support boards right in there. So that, I mean, I can bear anything, any movement out of this post is, I mean, absolutely minimal. It is, it is bolted down just about as good as I can get it. So I'm going to now start, I want to pre-drill some holes through the, through the uh, treads. Uh, just so I don't split anything and then I'm going to screw them down into the stringers themselves. I'm going to leave the last step off uh, because I still have to secure this board into the concrete or to the concrete. So that's probably going to take place uh, either over the weekend or maybe next week, Monday, maybe something like that. Again, this is just to give the concrete some more time to cure. So I'll have two, two top steps done, maybe do the back section of this bottom step uh, because each step is going to consist of two boards. And that's really just based on the fact that uh, how the boards came out when I planed them and things like that so all right guys here we go uh, at it again it uh, I didn't kind of close things out yesterday because uh, I was kind of on a hustle I had some I had to blow some leaves and uh, wanted to get you know further along on the uh, the, the deck railing and stuff so f recording all that it just takes t takes time so I wanted to kind of get through stuff so let me show you where things are at right now so all of the treads are on and secured. The, uh, I have these down with screws here, so I'll be able to take this first tread off here so I can, in a couple days, I can drill into the concrete and secure that uh, board down into the concrete. And that'll, be, and that'll be it for the stairs themselves. Okay, uh, we've, got some, we've got some railing, railing put up. Uh, these railings are 36. The guardrail here is going to be 42. And uh, yeah, everything is going up just fine. It, it looks great. I rounded over the edges here uh, on both these as well as the uh, guardrails here on the top. It looks great and uh, we're super happy with it. So what I'm going to do now, you see I was up part of today. I was up uh, kind of ripping down some boards and stuff. These are one by ones or things I'm going to use here under my uh, in the railing section here. Uh, th that'll explain itself as things kind of get going along. But uh, as of right now, we are working away pretty well. Things are going great. No, no issues. I think the rain's holding off for today. Tomorrow, probably going to be a different story. So I've got to blow more leaves today. I'm not quite sure if you can see here behind me, but it is a solid, I mean, six inch layer of leaves around the whole cabin area. I, I blow, uh, blow off the leaves on the driveway about once every other day and I haven't touched this area once. So it's, it's an effort and I still got some pines with, with uh, leaves on them and stuff. So there's definitely, it's definitely not gonna be the last time but I, I, need to, I need to start getting a hold of this before it gets out of hand. So work on the, the, the porch here for a little bit and then we'll uh, get into some yard stuff. Let's get it. Well, gang, we're down to the end of another day here, and it, as usual, things here, things, things are just great. Uh, you can see behind me now, I've got a lot of the railing up around cabin one. Everything is set up uh, for me to go ahead and put in uh, what is gonna go in the spacing here. I think Rebecca says she wants to stain the railing and everything down here before I kind of move on a little further. So uh, maybe that'll be done this weekend. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. So I kind of finished that up earlier, earlier this afternoon, maybe around two or three this afternoon. And then I spent kind of the rest of the afternoon getting the rest of the batten, uh, the battens up on this side here. So uh, this side now is completely covered in battens and then 
I also started to do some work here on the backside. So there are some partials here. I've got the, the bracket that goes with the air conditioner I've got to work around. I've also have my electrical box I've got to work around as well as the air conditioning cut off uh, the fuse box there for that. But uh, once I'm past the electrical box here, it'll be uh, kind of smooth sailing the rest of, rest of the way. So I probably only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven more battens to do here on cabin one, and that is it. Um, I'm glad to see the tail end of that, and it really, we're really happy with the way, with the way the battens made everything look here. It's it's just fantastic. Uh, this side here gets a lot of sun uh, here over the septic field. I don't have any trees. Uh, really around this area to block any sun. The sun is just about behind the mountain right now. That's kind of why you're seeing the shadows on the cabin. But uh, throughout the day, predominantly, this, this side gets a, quite a bit of sun. So the stain looks like it's holding up great. So Rebecca did fantastic work on that and we're super happy with it. So here's a little look, cabin one. It's uh, the exterior work is really coming to a close. I'm pretty excited. So. Tomorrow's another day. I think it's gonna be rainy tomorrow. I was hoping to blow some leaves as I look back across, across the area here. I still have tons and tons of weeds here, or leaves that I need to uh, get to. I don't know what time of day it is right now, but uh, maybe I can blow a little bit. Anyway, it's gonna be rainy tomorrow apparently, so uh, if it's not, I'll be out here doing something, all right? That's it, guys. We'll see you on the next one.